Good morning, everybody. It's Patty with Get Personal with Patty. I am doing my weekly paycheck for you and how I budget it. So I do use the budget bomb method. And this is her, uh, yeah, budget paycheck um, booklet. I just cut, cut it up and I put it right here in my A5 ring planner. I got the cover itself from Amazon. And I really enjoyed using it in this type of um, booklet. Um, as you know, she is coming back out with the workbooks in October. And Monday, this Monday coming up the 15th, is the Live Rich Planner um, debut at 8 a.m., I think. Probably her time, so probably 9 a.m. here. I'm really excited about that. I have put some money away to buy the Live Rich Planner, and I might just buy some pens. Um, I actually might buy the portfolios. She has some really nice portfolios. I don't know. We'll see, because I'm sure those will be around. Um, but let's get right into it. So as usual, I have a cushion rollover of $200. My weekly paycheck was six, oh, 1705 You know, I've been putting out. I was kind of looking at stuff, and, oh, geez, I knew it. I thought it would look confusing to me. Because in the beginning, in the, right in the front of the month, I have this page here, which is like my budget for the month. You know, I, I put down what I want to spend for my envelopes. And and then I was looking at, like, this was my, you know, weekly, what I received. And I thought, how can, like, this week's be the same as last week's when I know I got reimbursed for something? It's so weird. There we go. Not paying attention again. And I, and I think it's wrong in my checkbook. So I'll have to go back and check that, too. Yes, I still use paper checkbook. Okay, so that's not right. Okay, let's move on. Let's move back. Let's move on. Okay. Nope. One more. Okay, so six. Okay, so six seventeen oh five. All right. And then I had a rollover of one ten forty eight. So it brought us to nine twenty seven fifty three. So the first thing that comes out, or that I put on here, is my cushion for two hundred. Uh, let's see. This week was a heavy credit card payment due. So I have Lowe's at $50, uh, Avenue at $30, transferred $100 to the mortgage savings, and then my usual $50 to um, online savings account at Alley. So here's my envelopes and what I'm budgeting for the week. Groceries, $60. We do have to go to Aldi's today. So, you know, the usual stuff, um, salads and you know, blueberries, that kind of stuff. Um, dino, I budgeted 60. We did go out last night. It was 62 69 So we do one dinner out as a family. It's usually Friday night. During the week, sometimes if there's a special week and we don't feel like cooking, we will do that. Um, today we'll eat in. Tomorrow we'll eat in, probably get something. But we have steaks in the freezer. We have, you know, that butcher box that just came. So... Um, I really don't want to eat out. If we do go, like today, um, I think my husband and I are going for a quick ride. So we'll probably get a coffee or something. And that we take out of our own money. Um, you know, he'll pay one week, I'll pay another week. No, no big deal. But as far as dine out, we really just, I just budget that Friday night dinner. Because it can be very expensive. And, and as you can see, this is sixty-two, sixty-nine. We've been going to the same diner for the last three weeks. Kind of just, um, you know, it's just because it's familiarity and Grace enjoys going there and the girls enjoy seeing Grace there as well. We're becoming regulars already. So gas, I budgeted 60. So I put 40 in my Jeep yesterday. Yeah, my husband put 40 in his car but used um, the alley card. So that that's kind of a wash there. And then I didn't budget anything for household, nothing for special groceries. And then for the three of us, I didn't budget anything and nobody received any extra cash. I did get paid from one of my side hustles. So I left some of that money in this account. And then I um, also put the rest in my online um, savings account. So if I do want coffee or something, I just use that. And that is, is some of the money that I'll use for my um, Live Rich Planner on Monday. 
So then sinking funds, again, I determine in the beginning, the first of the month, what sinking funds I'm going to do. And then I try to fill those on a weekly basis. Sometimes I can't, like you'll see here. Uh, for the monthly challenge, I owe 50 for May. I didn't put anything in as of yet. And for the 52-week challenge, it's about 30. And I'll do more of that next week when I, there's a little extra. Because I want to do on a weekly basis my $5 for six different envelopes, which includes three birthdays, car insurance, and car maintenance of $5 each. And our pool gets $5. So that's 30 Then my May word um, is Cinco, C-I-N-C-O. So the N is worth 14 and I did put that away. And then nothing on the monthly challenge or 52 week. I'm trying to build a little bit of a cushion in my child care envelope because I will need it for the summer. So I put $60 in there this week. Um, there is a sitter coming today and for a few hours, like two hours. So she'll get 30 and then I'll roll over 30, which she does um, usually do during the week as well. Um, right now she's doing every Wednesday. So last week she was sick, like this past Wednesday she was sick. So, you know, that stayed in there. But I really need to get that cushion up for the child care. Okay, so on this page here, I just, um, when I use cash, I want to track it from what envelope I take it from and then how much it is. So um, I do have child care down here and there's $60 in there. And then when I pay Gretchen today, I'll take that $30 out. And then this is just my expense tracker. Again, I use the highlighted method, which so at any time I can look at this page without really reading it and know, you know, what is what, especially orange, which is dine out. So you can see this past week, we did do um, dine out on Wednesday and then obviously last night. Um, so there you have it. Yeah, 6.17.05. Oh boy. All right, really? That's it. I mean, it, I know it, it seems so simple compared to some people's um, budget on here, but this this budget by paycheck method that I do weekly is the money that I receive on a weekly basis from a full-time job. My husband gets paid every two weeks, and um, I also do that. I think that video is up from this past week that he just got paid. So I do do a, um, you know, bi-monthly paycheck review as well, and that's in the 7 by 9 Aaron Condren. So... I am getting a um, Sarah Marie's budget book in July. So I'm most likely going to start the um, like the joint fixed in that um, budget book. And then, you know, I was watching a channel. I watched a lot of channels, but I was watching, I think it's, uh, I don't know, but I'll put, I'll link, I'll, I'll tag her in it because I watched a full video of her June setup and I kind of have watched, I, you know what I do is I work at my desk like this morning doing budgeting. I just finished some minutes, you know, all kinds of things. And I just listen, you know, my YouTube is on in the background for listening. And I, I listen, I watch her videos all the time because I really do enjoy watching them or listening to them, I should say. And yesterday I watched her June setup twice. Because I didn't know this, but she actually does a calendar budget for like her fixed bills. She writes all her fixed bills on a calendar budget. And then she does all her spending on another calendar budget. And so I thought I was going to try that for... Uh, I think I actually want to try it for like going forward now. Um, well, I probably started for June. Um yeah, I thought that was a good idea. And then that way, you know, bills are on one one calendar thing and then the spending is on another. It's probably easier to see when you're going to track it. So that was a great idea. Let's let's I'm gonna try it for June. We'll see what happens. Um so I think that's about it. Next week, uh payday is on uh the nineteenth. So I only have two credit cards coming out at that time. So I will be able to put, um, you know, a little bit of money aside, especially for child care. And then the following week is the fifth week of May for me with a paycheck because it's the 26th. And the 26th really goes from 26th from the 31st. So it's definitely worth doing it as, um, you know, that fifth week. And I have no credit cards due that 
week, but I may, you know, pay one already in, um, that'll be due in June, the first week of June. Um, and that, that really is about it. So again, <clears throat> excuse me, thanks for coming in and watching and, you know, simplicity sometimes is better than, you know, really, um, fighting with my budget. And that's kind of why I've been doing the budget by paycheck method all this time, um, on a weekly basis because I don't have to stress about what what's to come. I don't I know what gets paid overview on the month, but by doing it by paycheck or anytime there's income into the home, it's just an easy flow of in and out. I did ask actually a landscaper to come by today and cut our back grass because it is so high and a mess and ah uh, I mean, really, if we could just afford getting somebody maybe every couple of weeks to cut it, it would be great with me. Um, you know, but that's a luxury and a want and all that jazz. And you got to kind of weigh, you know, but in this incidence, you know, he's going to come. It's a young kid, too, who's just starting out. So I don't mind giving him money. And I'm going to take that out of the money that I received as a bonus. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and um, to people who are trying to become a mother or those who perhaps decided not to become a mother for one reason or another, especially where it's difficult sometimes. Um, I know it was difficult for me and, um, you know, but, you know, Grace is my little mini me, me, so, and Max is her heavenly brother who's watching over all of us, so. Thank you, Max and Grace, for making me a mom, and um, have a good weekend. And to my own mom, who is also in heaven, I love you and I miss you. Bye.